Hey guys, here's another video for you. This is a My Alistair collection. Um, Alistair is a Swedish psychedelic doom metal band that started in 2016. Um, I've been following them since they uh, became a band and they're just like one of my favorites in the genre. They play doom metal like the way it's supposed to be fucking played. Uh, great band. Um, so yes, uh, in the beginning in 2017, they released Black Magic, which is a three song EP. I got this as soon as it came out. Um, I think I heard it on like Mr. Doom or something like that, the YouTube channel. And man, his vocals on here are just so fucking good. I love the, uh, just the effects they put on it are perfect. And there's so much atmosphere and like passion behind them. The production is really cool too. It's super heavy. I feel like there's like a lot of progression to the, or uh, progression, compression in the mix, which just adds to the heaviness, like especially in like Enemy, it's just like a very dense, heavy feel. Nothing to Fear is just a fantastic song. So fucking catchy. And then the last song, Black Magic, is awesome. A lot of Electric Wizard vibes. Uh, the, uh, the chorus in that song is just so fucking epic. His vocals are so cool. So yeah, I would, I would give this an 8.5 out of 10. I love this album. After that same year, Blood on Satan's Claw, an EP they released on cassette tape. Two songs. Again, I bought this as soon as it came out. I think this is pretty hard to get now. Um, yeah, 100 copies. Wow, mine's 57 out of 100. But yeah, this is a great EP. Again, two songs. The first song is an uh, original, Blood on Satan's Claw. Love the guitar solos in there and the leads and just the psychedelic parts. And again, the vocals are just amazing. And then the, the second song is a co their cover of Credence's Bad Moon Rising, which I guess they played it live and just recorded it. Oh, it's such a good cover. They slow it down like a great deal. So the song's like 10 and a half minutes or something, but they do it so well. And it's so, I hate using this word all the time, but I can't really think of another one off the top of my head, but it's so epic, <laughs> but not in like a fucking lame way. Like it's just really expansive and um, heavy and just great orchestration, super tight. I fucking love it. Uh, this is a, I love this fucking EP. This is a nine out of 10, easy. After that, in 2018, they released their first full length, uh, Slave to the Grave, which actually, when this, yeah, 2018, this is my album of the year. I fucking love this album. My one complaint, and I do like this song, like, on its own. It's like a pretty good song, but I don't feel like they really needed to put, um, Gone, which is the fifth song in this album, because the first four songs are just like excellent, excellent, excellent spot on doom metal. Like I fucking love it. Again, same thing I've been saying, the psychedelic solos, the vocals, the catchiness, just again, like the songwriting, it's just fucking awesome. And there's a perfect variety too. Like they even go like, almost like in the stoner rock direction a little bit, but like, they still keep it heavy, and yeah, it's just really great. But the, again, so the fifth song, Gone, is like this acoustic, I want to say, I, I think the term is flamenco guitar or something like that. It almost sounds Spanish, um, with like some vocals over it, and like, that's fine, but first of all, it's like seven and a half minutes. It doesn't need to be that long. Like, it would be one thing if it was like two or three minutes, and I'd be like, all right, whatever but it's a really long song. I just feel like it just unfairly breaks up the album. Like it's just kind of unnecessary. But then they come back with the title track, Slave to the Grave, which has a fucking amazing ending section to it. I love that song. And then the last song, The Spider of My Love is awesome too. The ending of that is so fucking good with the soloing over that like main rhythm riff. Oh my God. It's, I fucking love this album. I just, I don't know, that one song just unfairly breaks up the album. But otherwise, this is like perfect. And that song isn't, Gone isn't really that bad. I just, I, whatever, I'm done talking about it. It's a great album, nine out of 10, amazing stuff. And then 2021, which was their uh, most recent album, Onwards and Downwards. I got this on vinyl. Um, I like this album. The, uh, the first song, The Killer in My Skull is awesome. Uh, Dead Things in Jars is pretty good. Death Cult is like, I think they said they styled that after like a Queens of Stone Age song. It's a good song, some cool riffs in there. 
Nightmare Trip is cool. The one after that is like an interlude, I think. And then Onwards and Downwards, again, a lot of heavy Electric Wizard vibes. I feel like this album is kind of missing something from the previous releases. Like maybe it's like produced too well or they don't have the same kind of like psychedelic density that they had in their other releases. There was something that I just felt was missing. Now, like I said, the first song was really, really good. It's a really, really catchy, great melodies. I love that song. But then the rest of the album is like, it's good, but it's not like Slave to the Grave, Blood on Satan's Claw, Black Magic good. I don't know. I just feel like there was like something missing. I can't really even put my finger on it. I think it probably has to do with the production or um, I don't know. But no, this is a good album. I like it. Uh, it's definitely enjoyable. It's short, or at least it feels short. I think it's like 40 minutes, but it's only six songs. Um, yeah, it's a solid release. I would give this an eight out of 10. I really look forward to what they put out in the future. They're still a very young band, so hopefully they have a lot of releases in them um i love this band i hope to come to the states one day so yeah this is alistair from sweden and that's it i hope you guys enjoyed it catch you next time